Hey, for field link tip number 12, we're going to show you how to use the Connect CAD editor for as built analysis, allowing you to annotate and communicate and even then create PWGs and PDFs uh, comparing the as built versus the design. Um, this should save you a lot of time, money, and communication headaches because it's all done within Connect. The editor is actually included in that license. And so, what uh, uh, this is usually trying to do is um, represent what you see at the top here, which is an anchor bolt asbert survey. Uh, if the concrete guys put in the anchor bolts, the steel erector is still going to go out there and survey where they're at to make sure the steel is going to fit. Um, sometimes they're close enough to still fit in the steel. Sometimes they may need to actually move those anchor bolts, and you're going to want to have that documented as a PDF before you actually export it out. Um, on the bottom image, you can actually see the CAD editor, and we're going to show you how to get there from FieldLink to connect and then get into that CAD editor to then create a PDF like you see here at the top. So jumping over to it, we'll open up um, field link. And so this is where it all starts. You obviously need to hit the stake information to save that. And then the as built information is actually saved within there. So like this point 463 was laid out outside of tolerance um, set by the user, usually around an inch, maybe an eighth of an inch if they're doing something important. Um, but it's actually over almost two inches out in the horizontal and only a sixteenth out in vertical. Um, but to get started and share that information directly, a lot of times what is useful is actually just going into more projects and export. You can select a DWG and the stake um, location and then name it appropriately so you know where you're looking at. Um, and what this is going to do is create a DWG of the design and the as built and actually have them flagged, which is really nice. So this will all be local to the tablet or field link office in my case. I'm going to want to um, actually save it back to connect by simply doing a more projects save as to connect and making sure the name matches the connect project I'm working in. So after that's been done, layout's been completed and I um, save everything back, I would come over to connect and it, what that'll look like is a typical field link project in connect. You'll have your points folder with all your TFLX files and your model. Um, I could go ahead and actually work with this in the 3D view, like you see here. Um, this is actually including the DWG, the TFLX, um, and then the DWG, the as -built. So zooming in, you can actually start to see, if we turn off like the background and the TFLX, this would be the DWG of uh, the as -built points that we made in, in FieldLink and sent to connect. The TFLX is already here. And so with that turned on, that's going to show you those. And then obviously the, the model DWG that we're laying out to is also there. Um, now I can view all this information right now and use it like a data table to look at the TFLX of those points and where everything is. So I can um, actually start to do my analysis and like the, we'll do two inch sleeves has been one laid out. Um, or one hasn't been laid out. We'll actually jump to the two inch sleeves here. Um, 46 has been laid out at 114. I can even start to see the large deviations, like something someone probably hit stake incorrectly for this one. Um, but the rest of them are all well within a quarter inch of location. And that'll show up actually within the model here, and I can make to dos. But if I want to share that back as a PDF, what I can do is just go in, um, select the original DWG, is usually where I like to start, and go to CAD Viewer. And what this is going to do is actually open up the CAD viewer and editor where I can I can start to um, add points or add lines or do whatever other CAD work I wanted to do here as well. Um, or what I can do is hit edit and then X reference um, or X ref or reference the layout points. So I'm going to detach what I've already actually attached and show you how to do that by going into attach and then selecting um, that export file that we already made, saving it. And what you're seeing here again is that DWG of asphalt points from field link, where I can see the asphalt location with the flag versus the design um, for the whole project. And then once I'm happy with that, um, I can go through and generally I'll still use the 3D view and the data table to sort where my issues are, but I could go into then the layout here and um, change my view here um, for different layouts and zoom in so that I can communicate clearer um, and put in annotations like you see here, step up is fine. We're not gonna need to refabricate anything. We don't need to move it. Um, ideally, this is uh, perfect for anchor bolt surveys, but 
we have some electrical information, so that's what we're going to use here. Um, I could download this file as that DWG or um, even use that PDF. And then what you'll see is it's going to save that PDF, the overview, and then the layout views as well, too. So open up the one we just created. You can see that here. So very quick and easy way to um, create PDFs and DWGs of your as-built versus design and communicate that across uh, if you need to send it as a separate file. If you can live within Connect, you can actually communicate that as to-dos and attach other team members here in the project. Um, but a lot of times a PDF and kind of a um, deliverable is needed. So please reach out if you have any uh, anchor bolt survey data in a field link format that you would uh, feel all right with if you shared with me. Um, and please reach out uh, to me or any of your, to your nearest building point um, if you have any questions and want to start implementing this. So you can actually start to see your asphalt locations as well as the efficiency of the layout that's being done. Thanks.